So lately I've been scrolling TikTok and been seeing this resource called copy.ai everywhere. They claim it to be a huge time saver for writing copy, whether it be for your blog post, your Facebook ads, whatever it might be. We're gonna go check it out. So this is gonna be a review, but also a test to see if the ad copy performs better than an actual person writing it. That's what we're doing today. I'm super excited because I've seen the hype. I know it's a relatively new company and I love reviewing softwares. Let's dive into it and let's check it out. Okay, so right off the bat, ad copy simplified. Compose high performing audience based ad copy in seconds. I love to hear that. We got a little demo here. Okay, cool. This is a really solid website, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a free trial here and I'm just gonna sign up real quick. All right, welcome. Getting a few things set up, a few disclaimers for success. All the outputs are generated by AI. Oh wow, they have product descriptions as well. Okay, so this AI is not just for ad copy then. It's for all sorts of other things, which is really cool. We're here for the Facebook primary text because that is what I wanted to test. So we're gonna go ahead and create this. The name of your brand or product. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna be testing this for my vegan leather footwear brand, which is called Tastemaker Supply. But instead of using that name, I'm gonna put vegan leather shoes. I think it'll just relate more. Pretty much everything that I included in this paragraph is something that I would include in a Facebook ad. Now it's time that we test this out. So in three, two, one, make copy. Now typically it doesn't take me that long to actually, oh, okay, okay. Right off the bat, we got a lot of different copy. So let's look at the first one. Good style, a better experience. We build vegan leather shoes with the environment in mind. It's scratch resistant, water resistant, and guaranteed not to crack or peel for uh, in 10 plus years. That is pretty good. I'm gonna heart that. Okay, right off the bat, let me just say that the first four or five that I've read have zero grammatical or spelling issues. I haven't even mentioned my family's most groundbreaking, charming, intelligent robot, me. Tastemaker was born when founder Yorgos Marco Polos wanted to make more from his shoes. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from, dude. I don't even know who this guy is. Is this guy even a real person, dude? Let's check. Dude, I don't even think this is a real person. Um, if you wanna change the world but can't fasten your shoes, then Tastemaker is the brand for you. <laughs> That's funny. Vegan leather shoes made to fit every occasion um, from 79 USD. I wonder if they pulled this from our website. Probably. I bet they did. I bet they did. Because how else would they be able to know that? I'm gonna give this a four stars. And the reason why I'm giving it a four stars is because I'm blown away by, first of all, just basics, right? Spelling, grammar, the variety of different copies, um, the different types of approach that they're giving you to write a Facebook ad copy. This is really, really solid. The reason why I'm not giving it a five stars is because I noticed a couple places where they used words I didn't input, like recycled. There's one where the, the sentence is incomplete. There, there's just some small things, right? This, this, this random founder name. Out of these, I think there's probably 15 or so. Three of them really stand out to me. And what I'm looking for is a way for, for this copy to hook people in because I'm gonna use this as cold traffic copy, which is for people who have never heard of my brand before. Let's try it out with some real Facebook ads, shall we? Now's the time we actually get to test this copy against my Facebook ads that are currently running. And I'm super excited for this because one of them in particular I really want to test is this one. Looking for a perfect pair of vegan leather shoes. Sometime back we were just like you, on the hunt for a pair of truly high quality vegan leather shoes. That search led us to create Tastemaker shoes. At Tastemaker, we have perfected our craft of creating quality vegan leather shoes that are as close to their animal counterparts as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my prospecting campaign for women 
it has just over 4x return on ad spend. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna copy the campaign, keep everything the same. I'm gonna target these four interests. I'm gonna use the same creative and we're going to come back in a couple days and check out what the results are. Look at a couple metrics and see if there was any difference using the copy.ai ad copy. All right, I'm back and it's November 17th, which means it's been two days since my new campaign has been running with the copy.ai Facebook copy. So let's dive right into the numbers and look at the two campaigns to see which one performed better. So in order to judge it fairly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the data for the first two days of my original campaign and compare that to the, the two days for the copy.ai campaign. And that way we can kind of see from the beginning results, which one uh, is kind of on its way to success. For this one, we can see that this resulted in five purchases. The cost per result was $36.12. That's not bad, you know, five, five purchases for $180. $36 per cost result is actually pretty good. Now let's look at the copy.ai campaign and see what the results were. So here is the copy.ai uh, data and we spent a total of $188.52. The results were two purchases at a cost per result of $94.26. Woo! Obviously from this, we can say that even from the beginning, the campaign where I created and copy wrote everything, uh, it, it performed better. It performed better, it got more purchases, um, and did it at a lower cost per result. So the big question is, is copy.ai worth it? And do these results mean that copy.ai is not worth it? Should you just learn copywriting by yourself? Well, first of all, I imagine that copy.ai is a resource for people who don't have the time to optimize a Facebook description and think about what they should write. You know, the truth is with my original campaign, it took me probably 10 minutes to write this, maybe even less. And I'm not trying to say that to brag. I'm saying that all I did was have a really deep understanding of what my customers always ask. And I just put that in caption form. I guess what I'm saying is that there's nothing that can truly beat a human's understanding of their customers. You know, two or three years of experience talking to my customers in real life, online, on social media, I've talked to literally hundreds of people, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of my customers. And over time, I've just developed this understanding of what my customers ask and what they always need. With that said, copy.ai, in my opinion, I'm still a big fan of. You are saving a ton of time. The actual caption itself is pretty damn good. You know, based on my personal experience and what I know to be true about people's attention spans and copywriting as a skill, this is a good caption. I think what would really buff it up is if you added your own line breaks and you added some emojis, maybe to kind of ease the eyes, make it so it's not one big block of text that you just have to read through, then I think this would be a really, really strong Facebook description. It definitely has a huge use in the market, especially for people who don't have time to make uh, descriptions and write blogs and all these different things. It does a pretty damn good job of crafting a long form piece of text that is pretty much very, very relevant to your brand. This is a great tool for people who are just starting their business and might not have all the knowledge and experience um, of talking to their customers and interacting with them. They're just getting started. Of course you don't understand your customer needs. You haven't talked to them enough and you haven't talked to enough of them in general. I would say it's also a great tool for people who are very busy. Maybe they're releasing you know, five blogs a week or constantly changing um, all sorts of ad copy and testing it at a very, very high level. It's also super helpful for people who don't want to hire a digital marketer and they just want to hire an AI robot. <laughs> because at the end of the day, the AI robot is going to produce highly, highly relevant text. It's going to save you the time to train and manage someone if you actually were to onboard them. And it's only $99 a month, which might sound expensive if you're a startup or you know something like that. But $99 a month can be super worth it 
especially considering that they're able to produce Facebook descriptions, um, blogs, just blogs alone would probably be worth the $99 a month. I would say if you're on the fence of trying copy.ai, I would say go ahead and try it out and even run some ad campaigns just like me because you might have different results. They have a seven day free trial, so I would take advantage of that. My final thoughts on this is that the best way that you can use a tool like copy.ai is if you understand what a good caption looks like and you have a deep understanding of what your customers want to hear and the language they want to use and you use copy.ai and together you can craft these beautiful little blog babies or Facebook description babies that are super optimized because this gave me a lot of ideas that I don't think I would have thought of that I could turn into something that would be highly um, effective. So that's pretty much it. Um, really fun video here. I really enjoyed this. I love reviewing new softwares or even old softwares that can improve your workflow. So if you have any recommendations on your favorite plugins, softwares, apps, whatever it might be, please include them in the comment down below and I'll find a way to create some content around it. With that guys, I think that about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, my only favor is to give me a thumbs up because it allows me to get this content out to people who might wanna use it or might find it entertaining. Hope you guys have a great week and see you next time. Peace.